Welcome back to We have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and here is my follow-up video about December 2021 feature drop for Pixel devices and guess what this time I have a much bigger list of features to share with you compared to the previous video. Most of the features in this video are extremely hidden and it took me a very long time to spot them. So if you like to go really in-depth when it comes to features please consider subscribing to support the channel and help me keep going and create the videos you are interested in. And now let's take a look at more features in December 2021 feature drop for Pixel devices. First things first, on the left I have my Pixel 4a running the previous version of Android 12 and the Pixel 5 is running December 2021 security update. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is the wallpaper and the style app. And to be more specific, I will talk about adaptive theming. It seems like Google is silently improving the feature because I have the same wallpaper set on both phones, but the Pixel 5 has one more color palette that doesn't exist on the Pixel 4a. Not only this, but if you look closely at the colors of each palette, they are also different on each phone, especially the one at the bottom right corner. So here it's much darker on the Pixel 5 compared to the light pink color on the Pixel 4a. The third palette I have on the Pixel 5 has a yellow color that doesn't even exist in all the palettes of the Pixel 4a. And when I go to the home screen, you will immediately see the clock widget is using a blue color, which doesn't make any sense. But on the Pixel 5, it matches the wallpaper nicely. Here's another wallpaper set on both. And this time I can confirm 100% that Google improved the feature because I have four color palettes versus only one on the Pixel 4a and also the colors of the Pixel 5 makes more sense with the wallpaper. Also this build fixed an issue related to widgets not rendering in the preview page. So as you see here the Pixel 4a is saying loading but on my Pixel 5 it's working just fine. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 30% discount instead of the regular 20%. This special offer is available from the 1st till the 31st of December. As you see, you can get a Windows 10 OEM key for $13, which is insanely cheap. And if you are interested in Microsoft Office Professional Plus, you can get it for $44 after discount using the same promo code ID20. Please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about some changes related to the home screen and the first one is the app launching animation. So let me open the same app on both at the same time. Let's do it one more time in a slow motion. On the newer version, the animation is slower. So if you take a look at the edges of the screen, you will see the Pixel 5 is taking slightly more time to fill the entire space. Another new animation when you swipe right to access Google Discover. On the newer version, the wallpaper will zoom out slightly, which is something you won't see in the previous version. And the third change is related to the app shortcuts. As you see here, I have some emails waiting for me, but on the Pixel 4a, I cannot swipe these notifications away. But now after December 2021 security update, I can dismiss the notifications and when I do this, it will show me the next one. The fourth change is related to the widgets drop targets. So instead of using icons only, now I can see some text. Plus the second drop target is now called widget settings instead of finish setup like before. Now let me show you a bonus feature in Android 12 that you didn't know existed and I've never seen anyone talking about it before. By the way, this feature is not related to this update. You can get it on older versions as well, but it's worth mentioning. So let's say you have a widget on your home screen and you want to take a screenshot using the physical buttons. Even though I only have one page, I still get the capture more button. And guess what? When I tap on it, the phone will take a longer screenshot from the widget itself. Also, when I go back to the home screen, I see the widget scrolled down automatically. So let me put it back to the top and take one more screenshot, capture more, make it longer, go back home, and the same thing happened again. This feature only works with Material U widgets, so if you have the older design, don't expect it to work. And there is one more scenario that you might think of, what if you have two different widgets on the same screen? In this case, the phone will prioritize the bigger widget, so when I tap on Capture More, it will give me a long screenshot from Google Drive widget because it's bigger. But when I go back to the home screen and change the sizes, like this, and then go back, take a long screenshot one more time. And in this case, I'm getting a long screenshot from Google Keep widget. I still have a couple more bonus features to show you later in the video. Now let's talk about the changes in the system wide search. And as an example, I'm gonna type the word screen on both. As you see here on the newer version, I have a magnifying glass next to the word settings that doesn't exist on the Pixel 4a. 
Tapping on it will take the same word I typed and put it inside the settings app, which means the system-wide search of Android 12 is now integrated with the built-in search functionality of other apps. Currently, it only works with the settings, but hopefully we will see it integrated with more apps in the future. The second change is related to the contacts that appear in your search results. As you see here, the two shortcuts are shifted now towards the left, which is not the case in the previous version. The third change is the ability to locate your screenshots directly from the system-wide search. So as you see, once I type the word screen, I can see the most recent three screenshots I took and when I tap and hold on any of them I have the ability to share. If you don't see this feature on your phone even though you are running December 2021 security update there is a small trick but it will cost you your home screen so let me explain why. All you need to do is to search for the pixel launcher and when you go inside the app info go to storage and cache and clear storage. Once you do this all your icons and widgets will disappear and you have to organize everything from scratch but the feature will start working immediately now let's talk about the notifications shade and the quick settings area after the first to swipe on the newer version i still have the clock next to the date which wasn't the case before previously to get it you have to do the second swipe but now we have it either way the second change is tapping the internet tile will no longer dismiss your notifications shade next nearby share and it got some changes the first one if you have the feature activated under settings and then check your tile you will see it's not enabled however on the previous version it's activated tapping the tile now will put the phone in standby mode and instead of showing the visibility options like before also the visibility options are now different when you take a look on both you will see here on the previous version we have everyone we have contacts and hidden while here we have all contacts some contacts and hidden next the Pixel Tips app now have some guides about the features included in December 2021 feature drop. So for example, here I have a guide about the now playing search button and also the now playing favorites. When you go inside, you can know more and learn how to use the feature. Now let me show you a couple of bonus features in Android 12 that I didn't mention before and they are not related to this build. You still can get them on older versions of Android 12. And the first one, when you switch to landscape mode, and then access your recent apps screen, tap the app icon, you will see a redesigned menu. It has the same options as before, but it looks different. Also, when you take a screenshot in this mode, the thumbnail has a pill-shaped design, which is something I didn't see before. So please let me know in the comments if you're already aware of those two features or not. Let me also tell you that Google released Android L Beta 1 for Pixel devices today, but I didn't know about this and I missed it because I was filming this video. So expect my review for Android L to be published this weekend. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the other features I didn't mention in my previous video about December 2021 security update for Pixel devices. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for for more videos. Thank you for watching.